got my dog with Corey Bryant, like Miss me and my dog go back, like way back, like two flats, four flats on a Cadillac back. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, also, guess what? Pratt, you don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? I came on a little later, but yeah. what's that, Hey, 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 all day, baby, all day. Oh, all day. Right. I, knew, I knew it was something about you, man. I knew it was huh? something about you. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yes. So come on, man. Don't tell me, don't tell me you're on that just for me. Is now, don't man. I don't me doubt, man. Hey, hey, man. I, I don't doubt my hell, man. Okay, so, okay. 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 Tell me the feel, man. I did die at one time, but I died. <laughs> Listen, it, it, it was, I was I was going through this COVID movement, right? Yes. Yeah. I had my wife to dye my beard blonde. You know, I ain't, you know, I ain't nothing to do, man. I felt I felt Dennis Rodman like I wanted to dye the beard blonde. Hey, so you put blue here. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> A little hey, <laughs> listen, man, I got my brother on here. Like, don't think he a slouch, man. My dog, we play basketball, I mean, football together, but he's also a basketball coach in um, Albany, Georgia. And, you know, he's doing this thing, like, totally doing this thing. Got a championship up on his belt, several, several, several uh, deep playoff runs. You know, um, man, we were brought up Georgia military. I met this guy, Georgia military. What would you, you know what I'm saying? What's your take on that place? Man, it is it's only for the strong. The, the, the weak can't survive a place like that. I'm just being a, a mentally weak person cannot, you know, cannot survive a place like that. You got to be right. mentally tough, you know, and, and like I said, it prepares you for life. I mean, Georgia Military College, man, it, if you can make it through Georgia Military College, man, you can make it through life. <laughs> and like I said, it, it ain't going to be perfect now. You gonna have your trials and tribulations once you leave Georgia Military College, but yes. you know that that foundation, man, that, how, how things are rooted there, prepare you for all of the trials and tribulations that you may encounter in life, man. So now, I'm just, so right now, uh, we, we 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 in Fayetteville, but let's let's, right. let's let's rewind this thing back a little bit. Okay, all right. After college, what did Bakari Bryan do? Well, at the GMC or yeah. at the college. Well, you know, uh, I was fortunate enough to have a decent game when we played Middle Georgia. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the coach from Middle Georgia, you know, he ended up accepting a job at West Alabama. Right. He called me and thought that I was, you know, a, a good quarterback and, you know, offered me a scholarship. And I was his first signing. So I ended up going to West Alabama. I kind of hopped on it, you know, free. When you think about free, it's for me, you know, free education, you know. So I, I jumped on it, you know, and then I ended up going to West Alabama. And then I ended up being, I ended up being, Eight and a half hours away from home, you know. I went from two and a half to eight and a half, but I was never a homebody. Right, I was right. never a homebody. I never got homesick. You know, that was me. You know, I think that was the best thing for me. If I would probably went to HBCU, I'd probably still be in school right now, <laughs> partying, baby. But, <laughs> but um, so that that third year, my third year, we ended up winning the championship, man. On hey, a matter of fact, it's so crazy when we won that championship because I had a tall receiver. And I used to always tell, I said, man, you got to catch the ball up high. You tall little jokers. And we had worked on that that whole last week. Throwing the ball, and he just jumping up and catching it. Throwing the ball, and he jumping up and catching it. But the biggest thing behind all this first is being able to get them kids to buy it and manipulate them jokers. So what I did was that week of the championship game, I had got dressed in my old college uniform and came out on the field. Man, they were so excited about that, man, Drew. I got down there, them boys ready to hit. And I said, crack, 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 crack. I said, all right, that's enough, that's enough. They were, I said, oh, that's enough, now, that's enough. But, but to get back to the championship game, the, the game tied, it's like maybe 20 seconds left. It may be 20 seconds left on the game, and it's fourth and 23. All right, and it was, it's fourth and goal, and we like on the 23, like we got backed up to like the 23 yard line, and it's fourth and goal. I and mean, we, we ran the plate, threw the Hail Mary to the kid. And it was just like it was just like repetition, just like pressure, muscle memory. I took a court out there at the highest point and stood there with the ball in the air. You just see the little cornerbacks all around him. Channing, ball game. <laughs> KB, hey, listen, you know what I'm saying? you'll be amazed, man, when you sit up here and you you utilize and you 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 horn in on those kids' talent and you give them confidence in just that one area, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they they like capitalize on that situation, man. Right. 